It's, uh, this is the first time in recorded history we've had the whole entire world on, on halt or on a pause. And um, if uh, we are going to wake up, I think we need a wake up call. And uh, stepping into a place where there is uncertainty, uh, we are stepping from what we know, everything that we know about ourselves and our lives is being challenged and we're stepping into the unknown because every day it's more and more difficult to predict uh, what's going to happen. And if you can't predict it, it we're stepping out of a familiar territory and, and I'd like to see this uh, as an opportunity for people uh, to break from the normal routine of their lives. I mean, the entire world has been disrupted from their normal personal reality. They're not going to the same places and seeing the same people and doing the exact same things at the exact same time. Uh, they're in a little mini retreat uh, in the comfort of their own home. And if change, the, the idea of change means to be greater than your environment, uh, to be greater than your body, and to be greater than time, uh, this is a perfect opportunity to meet the challenges in our lives uh, from a greater level of consciousness. And so um, it would be wonderful if you made the choice to not be victimized by these circumstances, no matter how challenging they are. And, but our, yeah. our message is the way you think and feel produces outcomes in your life. So when you start applying those principles, and you see that somehow you are creating some events in your life, every time you have a synchronicity or an opportunity or a serendipity, it's proof that you're beginning to align to a new future. So what a great opportunity to fill your mm -hmm. brain with information and knowledge. You, you have the luxury of doing it in the comfort of your own home. Uh, so many people have fantasized about not going to work and the whole entire world is working from home if, if they if they still uh, have the privilege of work and i just see it as a great opportunity to ask ourselves who are we going to emerge as uh, when this is all over and who are we going to be and and you could go through this whole entire thing unchanged or you can emerge uh from a different a different level of consciousness and awareness and i for me personally i, I refuse to be victimized uh, by these circumstances and, and I think also people have to develop more of a intimate understanding and relationship with their body I mean uh, we have an incredible innate intelligence in our body that really is constantly uh, fighting viruses and bacteria and, and just a little love just a little gratitude just a little inspiration um, our research shows that your immune system gets stronger. So if you're fearful, then you're actually weakening your own self to be more susceptible uh, to those conditions in your environment. So it's a wake up call. We have to um, understand uh, to a greater degree that we are more unlimited uh, than what we're told, uh, that we have to change our beliefs, that we, uh, if we live in fear of something getting us, uh, what we fear has power over us and, and mm -hmm. when we're in that emotional state we we give it a lot of our attention and where you place your attention is where you place your energy so we have to be greater than our environment we have to be greater than the normal unconscious programs that we don't have the power to heal in our body and we have the time now the luxury of yeah. time to be more in the present moment to get get better at it Yes, I think, um, you know, when, when people have this uh, fear of death, um, they just don't know what it looks like. And, and, you know, every religion that I've studied, and, and I don't spend a lot of time studying religion, but I have, through my own curious nature, looked at several religions uh, <clears throat> throughout my life. And every religion talks about uh, uh, be, this concept of being eternal, whether <laughs> you're what religion it is, either you go to heaven, you go to hell, you go there for eternity. Uh, you're on the wheel of karma, you're on that wheel for eternity. You're in nirvana, it's eternity. So this concept that we are consciousness, that we're in awareness, uh, and energy never is uh, lost in the universe, I, I think that um, if we embrace the idea that we are eternal, and this is just a wink in, in, in eternity, 
uh, then the question is, uh, am I all in? Am I gonna, am I gonna go all in uh, at this time in history? And, and this is a time in history, by the way, where we have all the practice that we have done in our own work, in our work, all of the knowledge we've learned, all the meditations, all the transformations, all the inquiries, all the pushing ourselves past our limits, uh, all the training and practice of heart coherence, brain coherence, uh, is for times like these. These are the times where it matters the most. This is now you have tools uh, to self-regulate. You have tools. So, so changing your relationship with the understanding of death. Death is not uh, a failure uh, or the end. It's just a transition. So, so I just feel like um, when we confront that and we have a good conversation about it, uh, and we really we really find the answers about it. I I, I think. Um, we're, we're more prone to be less fearful uh, 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 mm -hmm. in our lives, and I think that's important. The things that are in front of them, I mean, they're, I mean, if you're facing a financial um, challenge and you've lost your job and you have a loved one that it has, uh, has been affected, um, these, these circumstances put us into a state of fear and a state of survival and a state of stress. Uh, well, stress heightens our senses and causes us to become materialists. We, we've, we're more locked in our bodies. Our attention is more on the environment. That's where the danger is. And we're always trying to predict the next moment based on the past. And, and we become locked into three-dimensional reality, into the realm of space-time. And, and there is a formula. There's a door out. <clears throat> and it takes settling the brain and body down and going against those strong hormones of survival because in survival you know if you prepare for the worst there's better chances of surviving if anything less happens but now um you know you start talking about dimensions and and you know this veil between this world of three-dimensional reality and the world uh that is the invisible the immaterial world where by the way is a reality um people are more open to it. Uh, the conversations that I just had with a scientist yesterday, who's a pr prominent uh, researcher and scientist, is asking those same questions because um, we're not going to find them in just one area of science. It's going to take a greater understanding. So, um, yeah, we are dimensional beings living uh, dimensional lives. And, and when the doors of dimension open to us, uh, and we're privileged to see that, I think um, we begin to become less attached to this reality and we don't have to die.